What if I told you a digital storm is brewing? A storm so powerful it could wipe out Bitcoin, Ethereum, and nearly every other cryptocurrency in existence. I'm not talking about a market crash or new regulations. I'm talking about a technological earthquake that could shatter the airy encryption that protects trillions of dollars in digital assets. This is a quantum threat. And according to the founder of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, the countdown may have already started. He suggested quantum computers powerful enough to break modern encryption could be here in just a few years. But what if one project has been quietly building a quantum proof vault since 2016? What if the only lifeboat is already in the water? All right, welcome back to the channel and it's me, Domenico. And if you're really serious about understanding the future of this space, you need to hit that subscribe button right now because today we are bisecting into a topic that almost nobody is talking about in the mainstream crypto media. But everyone should be. Let's be real. Most of the crypto world is chasing the next big thing. Faster speed, lower fees. But what's the point of a faster horse if the road is about to crumble into the sea? And that's where Definity, Internet Computer or ICP enters the conversation. Now put aside everything you think you know. This isn't about hype, it's about architecture. While everyone else was building for the present, Definity was apparently building for a future where today's security is obsolete. Think about it like this. Most blockchains are like castles, built with incredibly strong stone walls, designed to withstand any medieval army. But ICP was designed from day one as a futuristic fortress, anticipating the arrival of quantum cannons that can turn stone to dust. Their solution wasn't an afterthought. It's woven into the very fabric of the network itself with something called chain key cryptography. And it's a fundamentally different approach and it might just be the key to survival. Okay, so what has this got to do with quantum shield? How does it work? Let's break it down into three simple ideas. First up, no single point of failure. On most blockchains, everything is protected by a private key. If a quantum computer can crack that one key, it's game over. ICP uses a technology called threshold, BLS cryptography. Instead of one master key, imagine a key that can be shattered into a hundred pieces to unlock anything you need a majority save 60 of those pieces to come together at the same time. For an attacker, there's no single target to aim at. It's like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. The structure alone makes it exponentially harder to break. And this is where it gets into real SkyFi territory. The entire ICP network has a master public key, but he's a genius part. It's constantly changing. The protocol is designed to automatically generate a new set of threshold keys and completely discard the old ones on a regular automated basis. They call this chain key rotation. So just imagine trying to break into a vault where the passcode changes every few minutes. By the time a quantum computer could even begin to crack the code, the lock has already changed. The target it was aiming for literally no longer exists because it's baited at it. And on many networks, your public key is out in the open, giving a quantum computer an easy starting point to work backwards from that. ICP's architecture is completely different because the main network public key is what's used, shielding the individual keys that create it. This multi-layered defense, no single key, rotating keys, and a shielded structure creates what some analysts believe is the most practical and robust quantum resistant system in operation today. Okay, technology is cool. It sounds sky I know, but what does this really mean for us? Let's connect the dots when not if the quantum era arrives. Trust in digital security will be shattered when quantum era arrives. Every project from DeFi protocols holding billions to NFT platforms securing priceless digital art 
will face an existential crisis. There will be a flight to safety, a massive industry-wide migration of value looking for a secure home. Developers and users will be scrambling desperately, searching for a blockchain that was built for this new reality. And if ICP's structure proves to be as resilient as its design suggests, it wouldn't just be another L1 blockchain. It would become the foundational layer for the entire next generation of Web3, the trusted bedrock. Think about that value of that. We're not just talking about the potential for one ecosystem to grow here. We're talking about the potential for one ecosystem to become the secure host for hundreds and thousands of other ecosystems. The value of a platform securing trillions of dollars in assets could be immense. This is a long-term architectural play that is completely different from the short-term hype cycles we see every day. And as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor, but I give you the data for you to do your homework so you stay informed, so you can make the best decisions for yourself. Because this is just analysis of a technological shift. But the implications are simply too big to ignore. And that's why it's important for everyone to be informed so they can make their best informed decisions for themselves. So what should you be doing right now? The answer is simple. As I say, educate yourself. Your action plan isn't to buy or sell anything. It is to become one of the few people who actually understands what's happening beneath the surface. First, look into chain key cryptography, read the papers, watch the presentations from the Definity team. As I always put all the links in the description so you can educate yourself to make those best informed decisions for yourself. Second, understand the difference between elliptic curve cryptography, which most crypto users, and the BLL space threshold system ICP employs. And third, Keep an eye on the development of post-quantum cryptography, or an acronym PQC, like lattice-based designs, which ICP is already planning to integrate at the protocol level. And this is the game changer. And most importantly, the more you learn, the better you're prepared. You'll be recognized the major shifts before they happen. Don't just trust influencers like me. Trust your own research. Listen to what I say, do the research, educate yourself and make sure you subscribe because we're going to keep digging into the ICP's ecosystem to keep you informed with everything that's happening. Look, the future doesn't ask for permission here. It just arrives. The shift from classical computing to quantum computing may be the single biggest technological leap of our upcoming lifetime. And in my educated opinion, I think it will be not financial advice. While most of the world is distracted, you you now know about the coming storm, the inevitability and the potential arcs being built to withstand it. This is your informational edge. This is the kind of knowledge that allows you to see the chessboard three moves ahead because a quantum conversation is happening in quiet corners right now. But soon it will roar. You heard it here first. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is this quantum threat overblown or is it the biggest black swan event in the history of crypto? In my personal research, not financial advice, it's definitely not overblown and it is a threat. So thank you for watching. Stay curious as always. Remember, stay educated, stay informed, stay decentralized, and I will see you on the internet computer. Peace out.